Hello there, I'm Dr. Jeremy Pettis. I'm an endocrinologist, University of California, San Diego, and work at taking control of your diabetes. Uh, a question that, that comes up a lot is, for people on insulin pumps, how many basal rates do I need in my insulin pump? And first of all, it's important to know what a basal rate is. That's the amount of insulin that's being slowly kind of leaked into your system over a 24-hour period. And the simple answer to that question is, you just need as many basal rates that get the job done. And when I see a patient and their blood sugars are high and low, we don't know what, where to start, I simplify things and just start with one basal rate because that generally, honestly, is all you really need. Two, three at the most is, is where I would go. A lot of times people come in, they have 12 different basal rates, and you can't tell if they're being you know, high or low because of their basal rates or if they're, you know, their meal times or their exercise, and it gets really complicated. So just setting one basal rate to start with is a good tip. And then you say, well, gosh, how do I know if that's, if that's making the cut? And the easiest way to see what your basal rate is doing or if it's working is just looking at what's happening to your blood sugars overnight. So in the time you go to bed and the time you wake up. And if your basal rate is just right, those numbers should be within about 30 points from one another. So if you go to bed at 130, you should wake up, you know, around 100 to 160. But if you're waking up way too high or way too low, then you might need to adjust it. And over time, you can say, gosh, maybe I need another one after dinner or something like that. But to simplify things, start with one basal rate and go from there. And tackling your basal rates is always a good place to start because once you got them figured out, they don't tend to change that much. So it's a good thing to do, you know, in general is unbundle all the chaos, start with your basal rate, and then go on to the next thing. So I hope you found that helpful and thanks for listening.